What's up, YouTube? This is Lizard Day Torn here, and today I'm going to show you how to use automatic audio sync in Final Cut Pro 10. So, this is my second tutorial on Final Cut Pro 10. Like I said, I'll be creating a playlist with all these tutorials on FCP 10. But for now, let's move on on how to automatically sync your audio with your video in Final Cut Pro 10. So this is especially useful if you've got a DSLR or just any camera in general without a mic input or you've got a mic that isn't compatible with the mic input on your camera. In this example, I've got some footage here shot with a Canon T3i, but the mic I was using was a boom microphone and that has an XLR input and I don't have that sort of conversion cable for a T3i. So I've got the audio here and I've also got the video here. Just don't even ask what this video is from. It's from a short film that I made a while back. Uh, for a competition and here is what the audio sounds like coming from the T3i you will see it is not good at all I'm gonna go ahead and press that space bar to go ahead and play what that we call you? so you'll see the audio is not really that great but if I play it from the boom microphone let's go ahead and play that what what we call you? you'll see that's much better there's much more uh, quality to that audio so Here's how this works. All you got to do is press and hold your command key on the keyboard like I am doing right here. And then you just got to click on the other clip. You want to click on the audio as well as the clip you want to match it to. So there we go. I've done that right there. And I've actually done that with one hand and that was kind of a pain. And now you've got both clips, clips selected. What you're going to do is right click and choose synchronize clips. You will see Final Cut Pro 10 will create a whole new clip which has the audio and video synced up. So let's see how this worked. What do we call you? So you will see Final Cut Pro 10 uh, completely what, what synced we call all that you? audio up, and I keep playing it by accident. And so now we can go ahead and drag and drop that into the timeline because we are going to use that. No idea why it's being so spastic, but you get the point. The only thing to be concerned about this is that if you don't have good audio waveforms, which are uh, these things right here, I'll actually show you a better image. Those things right there are called audio waveforms. If those aren't high enough or they're mostly flat, then most likely this feature will not work for you and you will just have to use parallel vision to sync up your audio with your video as well as some good hearing. So anyway, guys, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to favorite, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.